Hey folks, what's going on? I got something here that I did originally. I see all kinds of projects, people having problems with heat shielding and uh, a lot of their little mower projects and go-karts and stuff. Um, you know, having to root the exhaust in a strange area and now you've got it burning something against like say the back of the seat or something uh not if the exhaust is like pulsing right at it but if you got a pipe nearby just the radiant heat coming from it throwing you off um i had a problem with my tractor here where it was melting the throttle cable when i uh first put it all together and that was even with i got it's it's original exhaust stock exhaust that's the original heat shield right there and it goes up and wraps over the top of the muffler and the pipes go through it well that wasn't enough so uh actually a friend of mine told me this trick um you got to get some exhaust wrap and you need some sheet metal of course and what i'm getting to is basically you can get yourself some high temperature rtv and you can put it on a piece of metal, spread it out thin, stick your exhaust wrap right on it. Because you can kind of see I was getting a warping problem and uh, had a heat issue. You know, between that melting the exhaust, that was getting me all messed up. So I just glued it with red RTV. I mean, you probably want to use copper. And this was only the one inch strip. That stuff's the two inch strip. Um, and yeah, I just laid down a bead of RTV and started putting the exhaust wrap on it. You could make it, you know, you could. I could have wrapped it underneath and stuck it on the underside so it looked nice and all that. But it's, it's functional for what I do. It still had a problem with uh, melting the cable. Um, the light ain't working too good. So basically, I made this little bracket and all it is is it bolts to the edge of the valve cover right there and underneath it i put a couple layers of exhaust wrap but uh so then that finally stopped it so um yeah man i mean you need a heat shield for a car something like that just as much as rtv and sheet metal that you'd have uh you got yourself so a little bit of more, you know, instead of going and buying those big expensive blankets and all that stuff, you could put a couple more layers on there, put like two layers totally across it and everything. Um, I'm going to end up, my little project over here is I got the, I got the exhaust out of this car. And um, what I'm going to do is the, the tunnel that's in it, which is right there, I got to figure it out, but I got to figure out what side I got to put our TV on and I'm going to put heat sheet, the, I'm going to use exhaust wrap on it. You know, big deal if I use a roll. $20 versus, you know, $50, $75 for some custom heat shield. And, uh, yeah, so just take some tin, put some RTV on it, high temperature, red or copper, and uh, spread the stuff out. Stick it down, let it dry, put it in place, and you're good. I've had this on here for probably, know, almost since I built it, probably like a good two, three years now, so... Yeah, it works. Works good. And I'd like to see it out there more. <laughs> ah, folks, have a good one. It's a little late. Bye.